And so when we started doing coronary arteriograms, Dr. Judkins called Dr. Soames. Said, Dr. Soames, please come on, I'd like you to see what we're doing. Well, Dr. Soames was about that tall. And he, I think he wrestled lions in his spare time. He was one mean guy. <laughs> and, uh, and he said, well, how many have you done? Dr. Judkins says, well, we've done 50. Dr. Soames said, well, you've done 300, call me back. So we did 51, 52, 53, 54, and we finally got to 300. Dr. Judkins went straight to the phone, called Dr. Soames, and said, okay, we've done 300, come on out. So we're sitting in our morning conference, and in walks Dr. Judkins with this little guy about this tall. Now, he never introduced us to him, but we all figured out who he was. So then it came time to do the first patient, and I sat in the control room watching the room, and I was responsible for the physiological portion of it and setting the techniques and that kind of things. So Dr. Judkins was standing at the table at the patient's uh, right groin. To his left was a gentleman by the name of Manfred Robinson, who was the scrub tech. And to his right was Mason Soames. So Dr. Judkins did the Seldinger technique. He got the wire up over the, over, over the arch. He advanced the left catheter up over the arch, pulled the wire guide off, and stepped off the floral switch. He turned to Mason Soames and he said, now, Dr. Soames, I want to, I'm going to do this very slowly because it's difficult to do and I want to make sure that you understand exactly the technique it takes to do this. And Dr. Soames is just like this, you know. And then Dr. Judkins turns to Manfred Robinson and whispers in his ear, catheterize the left coronary artery. So Manfred advanced the left coronary catheter and when they stepped on the floral switch, Judkins was injecting the left coronary artery. And Soane stepped back and said, I want to do the next one. <laughs> and uh, if you go to the Cleveland Clinic today, they are doing the, the Judkins technique there. So there's just a million stories, but uh, this is a unique guy. He, he, he set the trend for all the things that you guys continue to do, and I think he will for a long time forward. So uh, he's more than a catheter. He's the guy that made those catheters, and he's the guy that, that helped to bypass surgery become a common thing. And working with Charlie Dotter, they were putting stents in dogs' legs in 1962, right? Thank you very much. Thank you.